What's up guys, today Apple just released the iOS, well the new software update iOS 5.1.1. Now as you guys know, in back in March, Apple released 5.1, it was just 5.1, it wasn't another one, and that was to when you go to your home screen and your phone is locked, you can slide up and go straight to your camera real quick. You guys know about that. And then today they just released a software update and phone went dark. And it's 5.1.1 and I'm going to tell you guys what is the bugs that they fixed in this software update. So let's check that out. Okay, if you have an iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or the third and fourth generation iPod touches, or and all iPad models. If you guys have one of those devices, you guys should be able to update this today, the day that I'm uploading this video, which is Monday, May 7th? May 7th. I was about to say 17th. Yeah, May 7th. You guys, this is when the update came out. You guys should be able to... There's two ways that you guys can do this. You guys can hook up your iOS device to your computer and bring up iTunes and there will be a software update for that or you guys can just do it straight directly from your iOS device so I'm going to show you how you do it from the iPhone 4S okay so when you have your iOS device unlocked all you have to do if you guys want to update it from your uh, your i directly from your iOS device you guys just when you're at your home screen click on settings and you want to go to general and then you want to go to software update and it's going to be checking for one and then it says iOS 5.1.1 and it's from Apple and it is 54.5 megabytes so it says this update contains improvements and bug fixes so I'm not going to click on learn more but let's download and install and that's the terms and conditions I agree Connect your iPhone to a power source while the download is in progress to save battery. Okay. And as you can see, it's starting to download. And if my camera would focus, about four minutes remaining. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. Now, here's what Apple's what is noted by Apple that they have changed in this software update for you guys. They, it improves, improves, excuse me, improves reliability of using HDR option for photo taking used during the uh, the lock screen shortcut. So remember what I just said earlier in the beginning of this video. If you guys, I'm not going to show you right now, but if your phone is locked or your iOS device is locked, you guys, there's a camera button down there and you guys are able to take it and slide it up and it brings you directly to your camera. So that's basically quick options for that and they, it's supposedly supposed to, supposed to update you on that and it addresses bugs that could prevent the new iPad from switching between 2G and 3G networks. Now, if you guys, I know, I think the iPad, yeah, 3G is on the new iPad, which is the third generation, and it can switch from 2G to 3G. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have the iPad and it has been doing that, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know that. Also, it fixes, it fixes bugs that affected airplay video playback in some circumstances and it also improves reliability reliability from syncing safari bookmarks and re reading list so it's going to be fixing that stuff and also it fixes an issue where you are unable to purchase alert can uh, to be displayed after a successful purchase. So if you guys, if if you guys went to the app store and you purchase an app and it says unable to purchase or something like that, it's gonna supposedly fix that even though you bought it already. So it's supposed to fix that. So let's hope it did. And let's download this and find out. And you guys can find out and let me know down in the comments about it too. Now that software update that came out in March, it was an update that. Uh, gave you more languages for the iPhone 4S. It gave you more languages for Siri, the the voice assistant that is built into the phone. It gave you uh, as well as well as the 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 camera lock thing. When your phone is locked or your iOS device is locked, you guys can just easily access your camera. That's what came out in March, and there was bugs with that. So now that new software that just came out today is supposed to update that stuff so let's hope it did it I actually still have it downloading right now and I will let you guys know 
probably in the comments or in my next video. Now don't forget Apple is supposed to release, well unveil I'm going to say, update, well next major update to its iOS software uh well their mobile operating system next month at the worldwide developers Confer conference excuse me which is wwdc and that's held it's going to be held june 11th through june 15th in uh san francisco california so don't forget to check that out let me know if you guys actually got tickets i want to i actually want to go to that if they're holding one next year i'll probably go to that i don't know yet but i want to see what it's about and stuff like that Alright, but for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Alright, but for now, peace.